Hello everybody, how you doing today? It's Superfin here, and welcome back to our legendary Tomb Kings playthrough with the, here he is, Grand Hero Font Katap! I never get tired of doing that. And what are we going to do today? What are we going to do today? Well, I'd like to complete this province. We're missing the settlement up here, Rakdo Gorge, if that's how you say that. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, we also, we have Marathius coming in now here towards the Altar of Ultimate Darkness. So she may take that. We don't have much of a garrison in here. Uh, it's possible, possible that we could lose that settlement. And even if we take Katep and go into a force march, this is as close as we're going to get. So we can't stop them from like taking that um, with only our garrison as defenders if they want to take it. So what we're going to have to do is just kind of ignore that one. Let's see. Own the entirety of four provinces, current three. Oh, okay. So if we uh, if we get that, we'll, we'll also complete that mission. So that will be good, although we may lose this. So we may have to, like, recapture this and take that. Uh, for starters, let's go in here. And he didn't flee very far, so we'll be able to finish him off. No problemo. Yeah, we'll auto-resolve that. And then, uh, oh, we've gotten the other Trickster Shard. Affects enemies in range. Minus 22% magical resistance. That could be useful in this campaign, quite uh, possibly. And then we're going to just, uh, just start moving this way. Our Necrotech has gained a skill point. So let's go ahead and see what would we do. Causes terror. That's pretty good. Missile resist. Um... I think we're going to do the Missile Resist, just in case we end up fighting with Marathi. Katep is almost, um, you know, fully leveled up here, so there's really not too much more we can do with him. Um, I don't think we're going to do any of, this ca any of these casting abilities with him, so let's see. Am I using a lot of these units in his army? I'm kind of not. Uh, the Ushabti, though. That might be something we want. And then enemy wins at magic power reserve, minus five. And then he has 15% magic resist. That could come in handy. Oh, we were going down here, though. This is where we're headed first. So let's do... Yeah, another... Um, we're going to fill this one up so that we have this ultra, ultra, ultra um, high reduction to attrition casualties. Okay. And then, and then, can we uh, can we recruit some more stuff over here with this guy? We can get some carrion, which I think we're gonna do because we are one turn away from our carrion swarms getting better. If you can see here, plus five melee defense, plus eight charge bonus, armor piercing damage, plus two. And then uh, the dark elves, which we will be fighting over here, they like to use uh, repeater bolt throwers, so having some carrion to attack those in the backfield might be useful, right? Might be useful. And then, um, well, we don't want to do any of this global recruitment up here. That's going to take too many turns. Uh, but our local recruitment is completely filled up. And we do want King Lamizash, Lamizash to reinforce Katep if he has to fight Marathi. So we don't want to bog him down for any more than the one turn. So with that in mind, Let's just get a few uh, skeletal horsemen. And one more unit of spears to fill out the rest of our real crappy skeleton spear units here. The skeletons with spears are just not that stellar. None of the skeleton units are really that stellar, to be honest. Okay, so that takes care of Katep. Let's go down here to King Neferkare. Nefer Neferkare. Now, what we are going to do with these guys is we're going to come south here. Now, we got quite a ways to travel, but we want to get this book in the gas right here. And I think this is held by an army, and they're just doing laps around this mountain. So we will uh, we will head down that way. Let's do we have military access with them? Not aggression packs. How much do they like us? Well, we are going to be trespassing. Unless we unless we get into the water here. Unless we get into the water, we're going to be trespassers. So, oh boy. Uh, well, you know what? In for a penny, in for a pound. He's not telling me that I'm trespassing, though. 
I'm just going to come all the way down here. What does the garrison in here look like? Oh, that's nasty. We do not want to fight the lizard. Um, gosh, you know, now that I'm looking at these, these are terrible armies. I don't think this is going to be strong enough to defeat whatever this is down here. I, I, I don't think it's going to be strong enough. Now that I'm looking at them again. And then what do we got here? Yeah, we just we just recently unlocked this army. So we need some good units in our armies. This is this is really bad. Yeah, okay, let's do that. And then um I guess we'll just do a couple spears for now. Uh we got some good funds in our treasury. And so what I want to do with that is I definitely want to get this because we need this uh, this growth over here. 13 turns. Maybe we can decrease it just a tiny bit. And then uh, let's go ahead. Our public order should be pretty good. It could be better. So let's build this. And then let's upgrade this. And then that pretty much uses up all of our money. Yay. And then this guy is just kind of hanging out up here. Got a decent army, but we can't really leave this settlement. The reason we can't leave it is because the public order in here drops too much, and then we get a rebellion. So until we build some more of those monuments over in this settlement, uh, we're kind of locked in place here. And then this is this is what Lich Priest. Okay, let's just get this guy in the army, I guess. Yeah, very good. Everything's capped out there. So this is kind of like a slow phase of this campaign. We don't really have a whole lot of like hard hitting heavy units. Yeah. Um, well, we could hire some of these, but honestly, we might want to reserve doing that for these forces that we're bringing down here. All right. We might want to save the regiments of renown for them. Um, which I'm not sure if we get into that um, that special stance if we can recruit from the global uh, regiment pool. So that's like that's like all I can do, isn't it? Yeah, really, just not much. Let's look at diplomacy real quick. Do we have any other uh, trade agreements that would be worth pursuing in here? Like the Pirates of Sartosa, not bad. Who calls? Uh, they are allied with Lothern and then Avalorn. They don't like each other. And we pretty much got trade with all of them, so. Wisdom awaits. Hmm, Techless down here. He's at war with all the lizards and whatnot, so. I kind of think we don't want to uh, be friendly with Techless, because then the lizards will hold that against us. And the Tomb King's units are just not going to hold up well against the stronger lizardmen units. It, it will be a nightmare. Unless we get some of our bigger, better units. And especially some of the like the Sphinxes that have anti-large is probably what we really need uh, to defeat the lizards. Because they got all those big dinosaurs all the time. Okay, so Marathi is uh, retreating again. Which, that's good. That's, that's what we want out of Marathi. We don't want her to stick around. Uh, we can speed this up. They're friendly with us. We don't have to worry about that. Okay, uh, Assault Garrison. Where's this at? Up here? Nobody cares! Like, really, nobody cares. Wound, 38 and 12. Let's risk it. Oh my goodness, he succeeded. And now our carrion swarms are a little bit better. I can't believe that was successful. <laughs> so, uh, let's put a point, another point in the wound here. We don't care how much it costs, at least not right now. And... Okay, a full 20 out of 20. We're going to go pop here into Shroktak Mountain, and then we're going to run over, and we're going to wipe out this minor settlement. Our Grand Hierophant can come over here. We'll put a point into this Vortex. Uh, what kind of magic items do we got? Okay, we got a Ward Save. We don't really have anything in here. Does he cause fear and terror already? Causes fear. We got any terror in here? What is all this? The curse. Yeah, but then that's all we got. Oh, this is terrible. 
Opal Amulet. Hmm. You know what? Maybe it's time to, like, get some really good stuff in here. Start spending some of our canopic jars. Although we did spend some of them just recently. We put them in that, in that army down south that's now guarding our settlement, not really doing much. Uh, let's see. A couple of Ushabti units. Yeah, let's get a couple Ushabti, right? I think that's that's good. I like the way this looks, sort of. Okay, let's come down here. Uh, move these guys. They're like about here. There they are. Okay, let's see. Let's um, we gotta just come way down here. So I guess we'll cruise this way. I am moderately nervous leaving just this guy up here. Uh, let's get one more unit of spearmen. And then I guess we could do three and two. And then one more chariot. Uh, no, not one more chariot. Just regular skellies. Yeah, this is kind of a really hodgepodge force. Uh, let's see here. Let's look at this guy. Oh, he's got totally nothing. He's, oh my gosh. Okay, let's fix this, right? Let's fix this. Okay, I guess he's going to get the channeling staff, and we can't give him anything in there. Okay, I guess he'll get the magic uh, resist debuff. Ooh, boy. Wow, we can't give this guy anything. Okay, you are going to get the Shrieking Blade. Potion of Toughness. I guess we'll give you that as well. Well, that was uh, not very exciting, was it? Uh, let's check this guy out. He's got a brass cleaver. So we pretty much need, like, everything. Uh, let's, let's look at this again. Vanguard deployment for skeleton chariots. We've got, we've got four chariots in this army, so I guess we could do that. We don't have any Tomb Scorpion units, and we don't have any Necro Sphinx or Chimerian War Sphinx units. Okay, so let's come over here. Let's look at our jars. Uh, we definitely need, like, one enchanted item. Potion of Toughness. What was this? Potion of Foolhardiness. No, we don't want that. Elixir of Might. That, that's kind of okay. Uh, Ward Save causes Terror. I'm leaning towards this, but it does cost 100 of our jars. We only have 200 total. Uh, slippery and stock. I guess maybe you would use this when you like your guys on the uh, the war sphinx or something, but I couldn't imagine putting that on any of our lords right now. Uh, this one here, vanguard deployment. Um, maybe when you have like a chariot mount, and then you use the other vanguard follower that we have, and then they can all just charge in together. Uh, weakness the fire, but he gets regeneration. And that uses up, like, everything. Uh, let's go ahead and... Well, let's look at the armor. Uh, we got a couple of missile resist items. Can't get this one yet. I'm missing the, uh, the resources there. So we could do, like, armor, melee attack, and weapon strength. I think we're going to build... We're going to do two of these. These Mortuary Robes. It's a tiny ward save. It's not a lot. Uh, but both of our guys need like a piece of armor. And then we have the uh, the Talismans. Let's see. We could do Physical Resist and Fire Resist. That's, that's not too shabby. And pretty cheap too. Pretty cheap. Uh, or we could only do one of these. So... Uh, and then that's going to be the last of our jars. Uh, let's go ahead and do the golden Ankara. Okay. And then we'll, uh, yeah, we'll close this now and go back in here. Look at this guy. We got a basic armor for you. Mortuary robes. And then you could have this. And we didn't get anything over there. Okay. 
and then you can have that. We could also just steal some stuff from that other guy that's just hanging out in the settlement. It's another option. Okay, good. Yes, yes, yes. Very good. We know all about that stuff. Garrison Lord not moved. Look at that. Plus, plus one and six of it is from a military crackdown. So it's going to drop negative again and then we're going to have a rebellion. So we can raid. Uh, maybe we'll just pop out. And we'll just raid. So now it's minus eight. Raiding doesn't seem to make a difference, does it? Uh, no, I want to click on the army. Do we have a magic user in here? We do. Let's let's change it to a channeling stance. Okay, so we'll do that. And then over here now, tomb scorpions, sepulchral stalkers. We don't have either of those, and we're not going to for a while. Uh, maybe an extra necrotech. For 1,000. So unlike my Ungrim campaign with the Tomb Kings, we are getting a lot of use out of the uh, the crafting. Okay, come on, Marathi, we can do. Right, okay. And assault garrison over there. Oh man, I saw the little the little red swords above Tretch, and I was like, "What? We're not at war with him." That's because it was Nagaron's turn. Whew. Okay, we're fine. Ah, you're way up here. What do you do? Do you? Damage building cost one thousand. Give it a try. Let's see if we can damage that. I don't know if it worked or not. Oh, okay, that's uh, the minor settlement there. Yeah. Raid the following region. Where is this? Okay, we're not very far away from there, so we might get to do that. What level is this? This lady. She might wound us. She may turn around and and succeed in doing that. I uh, can't get these guys anything. Alright, so what's the garrison look like here? They have the garrison building. We're still waiting a turn for this stuff, so... Oh, dude, she does not have a very good army, though. It's a bunch of cav, so... That might be the opening that we need. Okay, it says in the bottom left, 50%. There we go. Next turn, we should be able to get that, and that will complete this province. This is my endeavor. Who commissions me? Uh, what are you doing up here? Where'd you come from? Where, where did this guy come from? We, okay, like, we did the research. That gives us plus one capacity. But where did this guy come from? Oh, was he maybe maybe he was just sitting here. Maybe we recruited him earlier and he's just chilling out. That could be. <laughs> that could be. Um Where is Intep? I wish I could see like where Intep was. Uh, where is Intef? He's in uh, Katef's army. So you know what? We'll just leave that the way that is and we'll not give this guy anything for now. Arise, my warriors. Yes, arise. Arise. Uh, let's let's go peek out this way. This is all a uh, terrible climate for us. So we're going to try to raise all of that and just get it off the map. Okay, over here. Okay, we are not at war. We are not at war. What is going on here? Where's... Oh, the rebellion is like many turns away. 
Okay, so they either sacked this or they occupied it, but I believe the Skaven are probably in there now. You have Wolfstone. Good. They make deal pact. Minus five, huh? They could be the next faction that we end up fighting. They they seem like they're losing their their favor with us, slowly but surely. Um Do I want Ushabti more than I want Tomb Scorpions? Well, you know, honestly, if we're going to end up fighting the Skaven, I think I'd prefer they have the uh, the Scorpions and then these up here. Although, man, the the Hero Titans are awesome. They are very neat. Uh, what's this? What, what are you doing over here? Yeah, we may run over and, uh, and kill Montez Salucci. Submit to your king. Yeah, submit to your king. To move. What is this? Is this where our quest battle is? Perform the following rite, the great incantation of Xar. What is going on with this? It disappeared. Attend your king, slaves. Is that guy around here somewhere? Okay, he's right here. We're probably gonna miss him this time this time around, but then uh when he loops back, we'll get him. You dabbled in sorcery and now you pay Ooh. the eternal price. If we fight with Teclas, oh, we'll get the Court of Libaras will be allied against us, probably. Uh, so I, what is going on with this whole thing? Floating Pyramid, a Battle of Floating Pyramid. Okay, so I guess it's a, a battle marker from a previous battle. Okay, we don't have a whole lot of money, and we don't have anything really good to spend it on, so we'll just kind of let it pile up a little bit, and we'll spend it maybe in here on the Tomb Scorpions. Me as your highness. Yeah. Or maybe we'll spend it on this. Um, Tomb Scorpions. Let's go ahead and do the Tomb Scorpion research since that I think is what we're going to get. And then uh, maybe oh, we can't move him yet because he's still got these. I was gonna say maybe we could try to like ambush or something, but you presume to command. Uh, I still don't know like if this was successful or not. Uh, what's this? All regions belonging to you will be hit by sandstorms. That is a very good right to have. And as much as I'd love to do it now, you really want to wait until you're being invaded before you use that thing. Because it is so punishing to enemy armies. And quite honestly, I think that's about the only way we could hope to defeat the lizards if they attacked us would be to... Um... Okay, so... Ah, they tried to wound this critical failure. Ha ah, ah. ha. Uh, anyways, I was saying if the lizards did turn on us and we had to fight them, using that right would probably be our best um, our best defense. Yeah, man. A lot of factions. A lot of factions to go through here. Okay, who's this? Multiple turns in a Force March stance, so now he's got an extra 3%. Uh, hopefully the other guy will get it too if he doesn't have it already. And then we cruise here. Oh my gosh. So tempting. How many, how many settlements does Teclos have? 14 settlements. Ooh, boy. And how many does Nagaron have? Ten? So at this point in the game, uh, province-wise, Teclas is more powerful than Nagaron. What are you guys doing over here? Get lost. Get lost. Still waiting on that. Oh, we're going to wipe you out. I don't trust this guy. I don't trust him. 7,500. That's a lot. Okay, we could pop up here. We could wipe this out easy. Before we do, let's just... Aha, see, there it is. No. Ooh, boy, it's a bunch of black cards. Do not order me. Short-sighted. So, if we take this, if we take it, 
we are going to get like just wrecked by Marathi and this other person. We'll get both of them. Let's uh let's upgrade this first. And then let's go capture this. Okay, we can auto resolve this. We'll put this down here on these guys with the halberds. Okay, punished us quite a bit, but settlements ours. Raise no, we're gonna occupy. So that completes the province for us here. And then uh ambush success chance plus fifteen percent. Campaign movement range plus 10% for own armies starting their turn in this province. Casualty replenishment rate, 20%. These are all really tempting. You can also get quite a quite a chunk of change out of this settlement. 500 per turn. Uh, I'm really leaning towards this ambush success chance. If we ambush Marathi, I'm pretty sure we can win. If we ambush this guy, I'm pretty sure we're totally screwed. Because um, all these black guard. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure that's gonna be the right one then. So let's uh let's think then instead about casualty replenishment. Okay. That should get this guy pretty much full by next turn. And uh, another 20% uh, for him. So, bam. Go ahead. Fill up there. Province secured. Very good. Own the entirety of four provinces. So, we get some jars and a little bit to our treasury. And we are getting the jars back uh, rather quickly. So, if we come, like, all the way down to here, I think, is where we are. A little bit further south. Let's look at getting you talisman, weapon, and armor. Now let's look at our talismans here. Uh, charge bonus, ward save. Maybe we'll wait and then we'll go after the Collar of Shikara because it's got the ward save and the physical resist. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna wait on that. Okay, I know it's not ultra exciting. I apologize for that, but okay, so we're gonna loop around this way so we can see what these uh, what these guys are doing. And I guess um, I want to try to damage this. Ah, it seems like a bunch of wasted money to do that. Okay. Yeah, that's gonna put us right there. Katep. Oh man. If I move you out, yeah. See, he takes um, he takes attrition. Army ability, Sandville. No, we don't really care about that, do we? No. Okay. Well, forget that. Lord not moved. Who's this? You? Uh, can we recruit with you? I guess we'll just get some more skeleton spears. Minus seven now. This is a very slow pace. You know, I mean, I wish I could make it more exciting, but... And maybe we will by attacking Teclas. It's just very... It's very risky to do so. Uh, primarily because um, if we if we take on Teclas, you know, they, they might have high level units. We just got basic skeletons down there, and really we're after that army that has the book. So like, I don't want to lose sight of that objective, trying to make you know something else more exciting. Okay, that's promising. So maybe we'll go hit Marathi up there, uh, since they spread those armies apart. Um, although you know, on, on the on the other hand, attacking Teclas would earn us extra favor with the Lizards. And between the two factions, like, I really don't want the Lizards to turn on us. Because that would just be uh, pretty devastating. And until we get our main province upgraded to level 5 and we can start getting the, the War Sphinx units, it's just, you know, there's just really not a lot we can do. 
uh, in terms of taking out high level armies because we're just we're full of skeletons in our armies. They're not very good units. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh my gosh. And then we're gonna take all this attrition getting up there. Sucks. Well, if we come all the way down to here, my will we can do done. this stance. And we're just gonna get up there to Bear Isle. That is the capital. It's a smaller capital. Okay. Uh, let's. Well, before we do that, let's go look at. Our main province. Iron Mountains, Iron Peaks, Ashen Coast. Which one is it? Ashen Coast. How many turns? Eight turns still. And that's even with that little groove thingy. Oh, God, it's just so slow. Uh, we got another right in here. We can get a... Um, we can immediately colonize runes at level 3. That's that's such a waste. Now, one, because that guy gets summoned all the way back here. So then it's like, you know, you have to wait 10 turns for him to march somewhere. Uh, it's just incredibly dumb. Uh, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to upgrade... That, no, we're not going to upgrade any of this. We're just going to hold off. We'll wait. Okay, I think I think we're going after the settlement. Uh, success, damage building. Good. If I damage it enough, does it take away the garrison? 75 and 2, let's see. Success, double success. Doesn't tell me anything about what it did to the garrison units, if anything. Uh, okay, this guy here. Yeah, direct damage. The other guy gained a level two. Wound, wound, uh, specialist. And I don't think we're going to have any better time to go and attack Marathi, really. Your words are nothing. I think we can do it. I think we can do it. Um. Okay. I was I was clicking over and over and over again. It wasn't doing anything. All right, here we go. Why why are my guys not full health? What? Whatever. Whatever. My, all my units should be full health. Okay, I just came out of a province with plus twenty percent uh, replenishment. Uh, Katep's got high replenishment, and we have a whole bunch of attrition reduction. So bleh, you tell me. You tell me why my guys aren't full strength. But let's get some action in this episode, huh? Wipe out Marathi here. And then plus we'll get whatever um, legendary lord trait we get for defeating her. Which I'm going to guess is some sort of magic resist. I'm going to guess. Uh, I really hate this map. We're going to set up right here. And then we only have to deal with like these two towers. We're going to put our bone giant... One casket, two casket. Katep is a casket. And then we got our uh, catapult. Uh, I love the sound effects on these. I just, I can't get over how good they are. We'll just put these guys right there at the trees. Put these guys... Uh, what is going on with them? Right there. Put those guys in the trees. Are we missing anything? No, that's everybody. Let's go ahead and gamble this. And then start deployment. That's a good roll, 22. And then, so we got a vortex. We got a damage resist. We can replenish nearby stuff. Okay, we got a vortex over here. Uh, this guy can heal our constructs, and then he's also got the tomb strike. Okay, here we go. Let's turn off fire at will on some of this stuff real quick. Okay, let's get Katep up here. 
We want him to kind of like... Ooh, oh no, no, no. We want him to stay where he is because they're really not hitting us very well. Well, that tower is. Come on, knock this thing out. Knock it out. Where's our uh, magic user? Where is the one that does the... Uh... Yeah. All right, so that Bone Giant is going to do even more damage to this thing. There we go. Uh, Katep is firing at the stuff on the uh, tower. Yeah, I think we're ready to aim at this other tower here, which is doing uh, damage to us. So this last Screaming Skull Catapult is going to knock out this one back here, and then they won't be able to hit us anymore. Uh, looks like one more hit against that thing. Okay, there we go. And uh, Katep, you can stop firing as well. And then this thing's going to go down. And if we take uh, Katep like over here, maybe he can heal up our catapult a little bit. We'll see. Let's see what happens. Get all these guys, like, tucked in there. Yeah, come on. Die already. Okay, so they have done some uh, substantial damage to our one catapult unit. I was hoping they wouldn't, but, you know, it's not the end of the world. And then we'll get Katep and our Bone Giant. We'll get our archers up here. Great thing about High Elves, they can, uh, or, I mean, Dark Elves... They don't have very far missile range on any of their stuff. It's really quite bad. What? What was that? Something made a funny sound back there behind us. I guess maybe it's the Ushabti. Well, let's just get these guys, like, right. The Ushabti right up front there. Okay, so now we have to start worrying about how we're going to get through here. Uh, would like to go and, like, throw some Vortexes down back here. And Kotep's got a Vortex. This guy's got a Vortex. We got lots of uh, Magic Reserve. Every time we use this, it causes damage to self. That's something to think about. Now, what are these? Dark Shards? Yeah, okay. Can we get these guys, like, right right here and firing at the Dark Shards? We really want to get rid of their missile units. Okay, let's, uh, let's speed things up a little bit. Okay. okay let's see what happens with those. Oh, good. They're putting them um, so that their backs are to us. That's excellent. Oh, my gosh. You couldn't have asked for anything better than that. That unit shattered. Uh, now they're putting Witch Elves in their place. More Witch Elves. Um, we got quite a bit of ammunition left. So let's, uh, let's just get right here again. We have no battle timer. Uh, so let's shoot these Witch Elves. Oh my goodness, it, half half the unit just got obliterated, just like that. Um, okay. More volunteers, any more volunteers? I guess I could shoot these Corsairs in the back. Okay. That's good. Good. It's not the missile units, though. Did they get out of range? Looks like they got out of range. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Let's shoot these uh, dark shards. Yes. Melt them. Melt them. Oh, that's so awesome. Just fantastic missile shots, skelly guys. Skelly boys. They operate this uh, Corsairs. Yeah. 
Uh, let's shoot these guys. These dark shards over here. Kind of knock them down a, a couple notches. Uh, in fact, let's kind of turn more this way. Okay. Are these the black guard getting ready to come up? I saw some black guard moving around down here. There they are. Okay, but we want to shoot these dark shards now. And we want to aim for, like, flank shots. Okay. Okay, and we want to keep an eye on all this stuff down here. I don't want to waste our ammunition on the Blackguard. If I can help it. We got we got infantry and other stuff for the Blackguard. Okay, let's uh let's shoot these guys now. Come on. Should be good damage. You know, we're firing right into their uh their flank. Yeah. And as long as they don't put anything that can fire back, like over on the wall here, we're good. Uh, I kind of wish that had been more productive. Let's try again. Uh, we don't have a whole lot of ammunition left. There we go. That's good. And then we'll shoot this unit that's behind them. Yeah. That's pretty decent. I think it's better. I think our skeleton archers are faring better against these softer targets than they will against the uh, the black guard. Okay, we're we're almost out of ammunition on these, almost. And then, so what we'll do is we'll be very selective and we'll knock down um, some of these walls to like, I don't know, eighty percent. Come on. Yeah, we got one more unit can fire. A little bit more missile fire. And then our skeletons have done their job. It's as much as they can do. Okay, so we're going to get these guys, like, all the way back here. And looking at our ammunition here, it's pretty decent. Okay, so we're going to uh, fire at this wall. And that wall. And Kotep can fire at this wall. Okay, then let's just speed it up. And what we're looking for... Um, okay, one of these is getting way damaged. Okay, let's take these two and fire at this one that's at 19%. Because okay, what we're doing is we, we want to get these like like 80% or so. And then we want to let the AI just sit some units on top of it. Preferably the Black Guard. And then we'll blow the wall up underneath them. And the unit will take like massive damage and die. Uh, but the first step is we do have to get it down to like 80 or like 95% damage. Okay, let's uh, fire at this one now. Okay, so we got 77 here, 66 there, 71 there. Okay, now we'll... Oop. Okay, no, no. Stop firing, stop firing. Let's get our Bone Giant over here. And we'll use him to get some more, like, precision shot. Okay, and then uh, if we have to, I guess we could send a unit of skeleton archers up. <laughs> that could be the bait. That could be the bait that gets the AI to walk into it. Okay. Is it 86? 92. Okay, so we'll stop firing. Okay, let's aim. I guess that's the end over here. Okay, one more shot. good so it's all like 95 percent or higher okay this is gonna be awesome let's get our caskets over here we got a uh, chariot boy 
And... Gosh, I'm wondering if we can get them to, like, walk up this. Let's bring our skeletons back. Our archers. Sorry, this is, like, like very tedious, but I want... Th there's a lot more stuff in here that's more powerful than us. Uh, but if we can get rid of most of this infantry, then I think we stand a pretty good chance of winning this battle relatively easily. Because then it's just a bunch of uh, cav. And if we, like, creep up with these guys... Okay, let's go around the corner here with them. And this gets increased area effect if we overcast. 27 second vortex. Like, right in the middle on, on this stuff with the black guard. That could be good. That could be good. Well, he's taking damage. See, they're not moving anything over here. Ooh, he's taking too much damage. Okay, so here we go. The overcast. Right in the middle there. Right on top of them. And then we'll heal ourselves. Okay, let's see if we get good damage in here on these things. Could be better. We're doing really good against those Dread Spears. It's 27 seconds long. And now let's move down over here. That was not too bad. That was not too shabby. How long before we can cast that thing? 49 seconds. That did pretty decent damage in there. And then Kotep, we got a little while for his. And they didn't bring anything else over here. So, let's take our weakest unit of skellies. Aw, oh, man. The other bad thing is these all have uh, gold chevrons, though. I really hate to sacrifice them. But here it goes. You ready for it? Oh, this is only two sections of all. I thought it was three. Um, okay, well, we're gonna go for this section of the wall right here, and we're gonna hope that the Black Guard come in on top of us. <laughs> this is gonna be glorious. It's gonna be amazing. Hey, okay, come on. This is such a long battle. I hate doing it this way, but this is the way to get it done. Uh, what are you shooting at all of a sudden? You really? All right, come on, get the get the black guard over here. Yeah, let's see if we can get all the black guard like come over this way. Oh no no no! What, how are they firing? That's stupid. There we go. We're gonna get some more action in there. Ah, uh, the black guard. They're not falling for it. They're not taking the bait. Okay, that vortex is kind of like going all over the place. What happened to this guy? Okay, here it comes. Here comes the Black Guard and Corsairs. Okay, you ready for it? Here it comes. Here it comes. Just get them all in here on these skeletons, please. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. There goes that whole unit. Just got obliterated. And then now the Black Guard's turn. Come on, fire, guys. Fire. Uh, no. No, no. We need the Black Guard to come back. We need the Black Guard to come back. That was, that was pretty much worth it. Uh, one time use case over here. Uh, no, let's get on this guy. Come on, Black Guard. Come on, Blackguard, fall for it. Just come in over here. Get you guys get you guys totally dismantled. Come on. Yeah, we're almost ready for the uh, the next round of these vortexes here. I'm wondering if maybe we should wait. It's hard hard to decide. Oh, come on. Okay, let's get these uh, skeleton archers back over here. Blackguard's just not having it. Ah, uh, darn. Why are they all globbing up over here? That's not what I want. Okay, 
Come back over here. Come on, Dark Elves. Bring it all over here. I mean, we can wipe out this, uh, this Lord. Let's see what these ones do, okay? Come on, get up here. Come on. Okay, here come all the Black Guard and everything. I mean, worst comes the worst. We still shoot him with the Casket of Souls, right? Yeah, that's looking like what we're going to do. All right, we'll just shoot him with that stuff. Okay, here comes the other unit of Black Guard. Uh, these are Dark Shards. I hope these Black Guard come up just right here. If they come and man this, uh, this section of wall, they're done. Look at all this Casket of Souls fire. Ah, oh, it's so beautiful. So lovely. Yeah, come on. Let's wipe this stuff out. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so they wiped out that whole unit. We weren't not we were not able to get the other black guard unit over here. I probably should have had one catapult aim at one, the other catapult aim at the other. It's okay. Yeah, we're gonna be able to knock these guys out though. Are we gonna be able to knock them out? So they moved all the black guard off the, the wall up there. Oh, stop firing. See, they're leaving. They're leaving up here. Uh, no, okay. They repositioned and they're firing again. Let's see how many of them fall down the hole here. Boom. Oh, the whole unit just got wiped out. That's so cool. Okay, so we still got some black guard here. Let's, uh, let's shoot those. Let's shoot this. Shoot that. Uh, Kotep can also shoot here. What do we got down here with all this stuff? Nothing we need to kill yet. So let's wipe out this stuff. Come on. Ah, dang, this stuff is so sturdy. Get out of here. Uh, let's bring up some of these guys now. Some of these guys. Some of these guys. And of course, we're going to want the Ushapi. Because all this stuff is disappearing. Okay, here it comes. Here it comes. Okay, come on. Nail them with those vortexes. Oh, look at the black guard. Oh my gosh. That is a direct hit. And then the other guys are going to run right into it. Oh. Thing of beauty. I think it wiped out the whole unit. I don't see any more black guard over there. Okay. Uh, let's just have what's left of these guys just climb up here. Go finish them off. Bring all this stuff up. Okay. Oh, that was excellent. Excellent. There's a little bit of black guard left. A little bit. And what are these guys got? Are they anti large or anti infantry? Armored piercing anti infantry. Here we go. And we'll charge in with this guy. Okay, all three of them coming in here, going after this black guard. And then Kotep and these guys getting right behind him. He's going to use his little thing here. It damages himself, but that's fine. Okay, and then we want to get these three, like just uh, one unit. Okay. Another vortex right in the uh, right in the ground back here. Oh yeah, melt them, melt them. Where's the rest of our skellies and stuff? They getting up here? We're doing great damage in here. 
Uh, Katep, come in. The mage can come in. Okay, we're starting to take some uh, fire from over here. Let's fire at these with our catapults. Fire at these ones. Let's start wiping out like all their missile units. There we go. Okay, we've pretty much got this stuff up here. Wiped out. Okay, here come the Corsairs. Doing some damage to us. Uh, more Blackguard coming in. Go put this like right. Hope you guys are hungry for a vortex. Oh, this is going to be right on top of all this stuff again. Uh, let's get the black guard now. And then here come the skellies. Okay. Can we please shoot this? Get rid of those horsemen over there. At once. At once. So these guys are getting healed. These guys we need like back here more. Oh boy. Put this guy over here. Put them in there, good. Get them going in. Yeah, get that nice healing in there for all of our units. Very good. Get our halberds up. Get on the spears. Let's get on the uh, the Lord. Get on the Blackguard. 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 You out of ammunition or what? What are you doing? Uh, what can't. Oh. Tap. What are you doing over there? Uh, let's shoot the Dark Riders with the crossbows over there. Do some extra damage to those. And then let's. Um, let's buff these guys up. Are we ready for another one of these? Not quite yet. Okay, just broke those guys. Coming in with all the uh, the halberds. Guess we'll just bring our archers this way. So we are going to take the settlement. That's a given at this point. Okay, let's come in with this and with this. Ouch, whatever that was, that hurt a lot. That hurt a lot. Okay, so they got a bunch of calves left. Alright. Uh, Katep. Man, look how much damage we took down here from whatever that was. Holy crap. Unbelievable. Your will 
Get in here. Come on. Yeah, we got the gate now. And we've got these new Shopti that we can summon. Uh, where are you going? Get over here. Take it here. Okay, let's get these guys around this way. We need to go wipe those things out. So let's uh, let's just take him. Oh. Dark Riders with shields. Okay, let's get in here. A couple units of them. Okay, this is going to be annoying. Shoot those guys. Shoot those guys, please. You're not in yet? Get in here, please. Please get in here. Okay, we are winning the battle over here. Very easily. Our Rishabti are getting really banged up, though. Okay, let's hit... Uh, they got any more crossbows back here? There's a unit of crossbows. Okay, let's just spam into all that. Very good. Okay. Can we get Katep like more over here so we can heal? Especially this stuff. Come on. Who's this? Oh, what are you doing over here? Okay, we'll go get them then. Alright, let's shoot these Dark Riders with crossbows. We'll turn guard mode back on. All that stuff back here is taking some pretty good damage. A unit has been wiped out. I hope it wasn't my Ushapti. It was my Ushapti. Damn them. Okay, those guys are off the map. Okay, ready for it? Here we go. What is that? Is that damaging me? Okay, let's get up here with that. Get up here with uh, Katep. Get some skeletons for fodder. Okay, the uh, last attack against Marathi. Let's see. Let's shoot that stuff. Oh, we should bring our giant. He should really charge in first. that stuff. Oh, yeah. Nice overcast vortex right in the middle. I don't know if it's going to do any damage back there. But we're going to try. Okay, here comes Marathi. When Marathi crumbles, everything else will follow suit. And there goes the vortex is down. And Marathi's morale is dropping. So that is going to be it for this battle. There we go. We lost the unit of Ushapti. We lost a unit of skeleton archers that were uh, rank 9 or something. But we got the settlement. And we're going to get the uh, trait for defeating Marathi. That was a long battle. It took a long time.
death becomes us. Okay, this is unpleasant climate. So I am sort of tempted to just raise it. Yeah, I mean, it's just overly expensive. The income is we bad. I'll just burn it to a crisp. Cool. Uh, and then they have an army over here that is going to take at least uh, two turns to get to us. So what we'll do is we'll retreat back to here and I think recruit up again. Well, unless we want to go hit Dadrax in. No, I think we should come down here, recruit up again. If they come and settle this, if we can hit them on the turn that they settle, then we will have a much better chance of getting through there. Plus, they won't have the garrison. So then it would be an open field battle. Ooh, I don't know how I feel about that. Honestly. Oh, we already did this guy's move, yeah. Did we do the other moves? No, we did not do these ones yet. Oh, boy. Do we want to come in here and take this? It's unpleasant climate, right? So... No, we really don't. We don't want to. Let's let's cruise all the way up to here, though. All this is just like unpleasant garbage climate. How is it that he can't move very far at all? Alright, well, I hope Teclos doesn't turn on us. Oh, boy, he's got a lot of nobles in his army. Uh, what is this over here? This must be the Sword of Cain. That's probably what that is. And there are these guys over here. So they're going to do a lap. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to come down here and catch them. Maybe there's a minor faction that we can um, take their territory. And that would open up the uh, global recruitment regiments of renown to us for these two forces. Uh, but I would like to defeat that army. Uh, this guy's ready to move. I hope we don't get attacked by Nagaron doing this like like i that'd be the last thing i need is just like a couple stacks of dark elves to come down this way that would be bad uh who's this yeah okay he can't move really so just kind of hold tight with him this is all skaven like tretch has all of this Submit. uh i guess we'll do this We'll do that. Oh, and then we were going to... Before I forget. We were going to get one of these guys like a better talisman. And now I think we can afford it. So we go to talismans. And it's down near the bottom. The collar of Shakara. That uses up most of our jars. Good. Attend your king. So you can now have the collar of Shakara. Yeah, that's fine. And then we'll give you the opal amulet. I guess we'll give him that. And we don't have anything else that's really that good yet. Okay, let's end our turn. And I think that'll probably be the, uh, the end of this episode. It was a pretty long one. Uh, defeating Marathi was the big deal. Oh, I forgot to look at uh, what, what trait we got for defeating Marathi. We do get a trait for that. Or is that Mortal Empires only? Because I don't think we got one. I think that might be a Mortal Empires only feature. Oops. Okay, Confederation. Oh boy. Hmm. Money or jars? Money or jars? Well, jars, I guess. Okay, they've assaulted garrison. Yeah. What do we look like up here? Okay, so we want to bring Katep down here to the Altar of Darkness. We want to send King Lamizash up this way to wipe out whatever they have left up there. 
This guy's going to hang tight. As long as no Dark Elves show up, we'll continue hitting west here with King Kidiscath. And I think we'll just go wipe out this uh, this small rogue army. Uh, then these two right here will just uh, continue heading south, try to catch up to this guy. Um, which is probably going to be a tough army. Uh, but if we can defeat it, then that is a book in the gash. Which one is it? It's uh, this one. Uh, regions will be hit by sandstorm after sacking or occupying settlements. Immune to sandstorm attrition casualty replenishment rate plus 50% after sacking or occupying settlements. So that's that's pretty good. And we have to defeat Nicolander, the Blade of Golaril, which uh, he's probably going to be pretty tough. So that is all uh, coming up in the next episode when we get back. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. I know I enjoyed playing it. Uh, thank you for watching so much. Feel free to let me know if you're enjoying it with comments or thumbs up or if you have any strategies or anything like that. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Check me out on Twitter. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. You have a good afternoon. And take care.